Most Christians will tell you that God cannot lie. And this is expressed in Malachi 3.6, 1 Samuel 15.29, James 1.17, and Hebrews 6.17-18. But let us examine, if we shall, the definition of a lie. A lie is simply a statement made with deliberate intent to deceive. It's an intentional untruth. So if I deliberately make someone believe a falsehood, that's an obvious example of me lying. Now if you would, please open your Bibles with me to 2 Thessalonians 2, 11 through 12. It reads, God sent them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie that they all may be condemned who do not believe the truth. Again, God sent them a strong delusion. What is a strong delusion? A false belief. So your God does lie to people, and he purposely lies to people to confuse them. But you said God can't lie. <laughs> and let us not just take my word for it. Let's all go to Bible Hub or Biblical Commentary and see what the Christian scholars actually have to say. My favorite one is Charles Ellicott. He says, God takes from them by his natural law, their power of discerning, the true from the false, and thus, as it were, actually deceives them. And for the amoebas in the back, causing is not the same as permitting. And if you don't think this verse is a good enough example of your fake fairy tale fucking God telling lies, let us turn to Second Chronicles 18.22. It reads, Now therefore behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. <laughs> if I put a magical spirit inside of my wife and forced her to lie for me, that's the same thing as me lying because I took away her free will, and I forced her to lie on my behalf. How would that be any different than the lie actually coming out of my mouth? It wouldn't. Have a good day, fellas. Destroying your fake fairy tale beliefs is as easy as drinking water at this point. And if any of you would ever like to try your hand at the Christian interrogation room, feel free to DM me anytime.